Hi there, in this part of the course we are going to talk with um, HIPPO. So what is uh, HIPPO? Uh, HIPPO stands for the highest paid uh, person opinion and I think uh, the best way to introduce what the HIPPO is is clearly this uh, funny image which shows out that uh, you have a full room of people on which uh, actually it's clearly say that option A is the best one but HIPPO is saying that option B is the the best one and as a result uh, the EPO is gonna win uh, the battle and this is really important to tackle this issue first by uh, before introducing what are online acquisition in general mainly because EPO can in fact uh, ruin all your all your work right so you can define the best possible strategy in the world it can be convincing enough for a lot of people but if a EPO is in front of you and saying okay I'm the one who has the money, I'm the stakeholder, I'm the one who is um, screaming the most within the audience or I'm the one who is the most influential within uh, the organization and uh, as a result in fact all your work uh, will be destroyed or you will only have the possibility to use like 20% of what you expected to do and as a result it's going to be the biggest key challenge, not going to be uh, your skills in terms of being able to do digital marketing but uh, more about the conflict that you will still have with this uh, given person. So in this video, I'm going to be brief. I'm going to explain uh, from my own experience how I solve different situations with uh, hippos. And you will see that it's all about being human and it's all about being a psychologist rather than being a digital marketer. So just to let you know that if you go for digital marketing, you have to know a little bit about psychology or you have to know a little bit about how to deal with humans in general. If not, uh, you will not be able uh, to go very far. So um, I will say the first thing that you have to know about uh, EPOs is uh, when you are dealing with them, it's really important for you to turn your tongue seven times in your mouth before speaking. Okay, uh, that's something that I have a lot of uh, problem to, to do, but uh, you have to force yourself uh, to listen the person who is in front of you. Why is that? Uh, mainly because in some cases uh, the EPOs will not accept the fact that you are taking the speech because uh, she or he is the one who is able to, uh, who is used to speak a lot. So you have to uh, give them the speech. You have to leave them uh, the possibility to, to speak. And you will see that most of the time when uh, you let them this possibility, they will at some point uh, go back to your solution that uh, you were suggesting some minutes ago. Okay, whereas actually uh, one hour ago they were uh, totally against you. And now because you just gave them uh, the possibility to speak, uh, they finally find out that uh, your solution is finally the solution uh, that, uh, that they want. And even sometimes they will kind of steal your solution and make it their own. Whereas actually it's exactly the same thing that you explain in front of the other stakeholder for ages. Okay, so just to let you know that uh, you need to be able to listen and uh, some people you cannot convince them straight away the solution has to come uh, from them. So this is why they need to say it. Um, one other way that uh, you can suggest in order to make your uh, digital marketing strategy pass is that uh, you can play the card of data, okay? Um, playing the card of data uh, is useful if you have a trustful data, okay? So if you have trustful data, if you can clearly show by A plus B that your strategy is by far the best and that's the way to go. If you have reliable data, which are somehow um, confirmed by a third party player, it can be a colleague or anyone that the IPO uh, will trust, then it will help within the process. But if you just go there just by a uh, gut feeling, it will be your gut feeling, again, the one of uh, the IPOs and for sure the IPO is going to win it. Um, so next is always speak in terms of revenues. Uh, that That's really important when you deal with a digital marketing strategy. Always think in terms of turnover because high chances that the EPOS is close uh, to the decision maker or is even the boss in itself of the company. So that's why if you think in terms of euros currency, in terms of dollars, in terms of how much revenue it would bring, if you get those data as well from competitors, or from parallel strategy, 
it will help a lot okay just don't talk about vague figures about visits about stuff like this no the only thing that they are interested in is okay how much i'm gonna get out of this investment another way that you can convince ipo about your strategy is uh client feedback okay uh, the clients of the company the customer of the company will give additional credit to everything that you are saying so it's hard to get because most of the time we are a bit shy and we do not expect uh, our customer to talk for us. But um, if you succeed, if you are a bit curious um, and if you make the effort to ask them and if you get the right uh, people talking to you, uh, definitely they can give you very well feedback that uh, you can after that um, show to the iPods. Um, Next point is about testing tool. It's kind of hard to do this one, but can be very um, useful is if uh, the iPods and yourself are trying uh, to, let's say, force uh, a digital marketing strategy, you can always kind of find of, a, let's say, um, a mid situation in which you say, okay, uh, we are going to test the strategy that you suggest and I'm going to suggest mine. And for this, we're going to use testing tools like this it's not gonna uh, change that much about the website okay the decision we are going to take here is just going to impact 50 percent of the website and if after a certain period of amount of time like one week or two weeks or one month it doesn't give the expected result then hypo you will be right and your strategy will be better and i and i was wrong okay uh, the main issue that I see with testing tools is that it requires um, you to implement some technologies on the website. Either you have the techie skills to develop those testing tools or you don't have them. So that's, uh, that's another uh, thing. Um, then another piece of advice, if you are in front of, uh, let's say, a strong IPO okay, and there's nothing that you can do, and it has been like the 10th time that the IPO is refusing your digital marketing strategy, well, probably you are at the wrong place, okay? And you didn't sign up for a psychologist uh, position within your company. So it's probably high time for you to think about other perspective, other organization, where you will be uh, valued to, uh, your right, um, uh, to your right skills. And to conclude, um, this... Um, this book is a bit offensive, but you may have heard about it. Uh, it's very popular, it's a very ancient uh, book. It's about a Chinese uh, general of war. Uh, the book is named The Art of War, uh, who is explaining, in fact, different strategy that you can apply to day-to-day -day life in order to defeat an opponent, which uh, could be interesting uh, if you are in front of an IPO and you are not uh, succeeding is actually uh, getting rid of him or, or, or her by any traditional ways. Actually, The Art of War is um, a good book to read in order to get inspiration from and to identify on which, um, let's say, on which um, side of the cube you need to attack your, your opponent. Hope uh, this uh, video was helpful for you about how you can deal with hypo when it's about defining and implementing a digital marketing strategy. Thanks for watching.